internet. Um, a bit of a weird one today. Um, I was going to sit in my office chair, but as you can see, it's been taken over. Hasn't it, Ted? Eh? Yeah, you won't let me sit down today. Whatever. Anyway, I digress. Right, um, in a slightly different environment today, uh, in my office, it's a bit messy, so I'm not going to show you too much. Um, but what I've been asked a few times is, what cameras do you use when you're doing all this sort of stuff on YouTube? Now, a disclaimer first of all, I'm not a professional and the cameras I use are not high quality, high grade, uh, gimbal, blah blah blah, you know, all, all the stuff you see these these real professionals going around with. To me, when I do this for sort of thing, I want something that's easy to use, it's light, um, it's portable, um, it's not going to clutter up, it doesn't need a hundred and thing, 101 things added to it. So I'm going to take you through what I use and what I have used and what I'm going to use as well. It'll all become clear, I'm sure. Um, so the content on this, uh, the sound quality may be a bit weird and the picture quality may be a bit weird. I don't know how it's gonna work, but let's give it a go. So the go-to camera I've been using for the past five or six years is this one. Um, it is, oop, <laughs> it is an SJ Cams. Let me just show you the screen on the back here. An SJ Cam. Uh, SJ8, um, there you go, SJ8 Pro, as it happens. It's been a great little camera, and the thing I like about this is you can take it out of this cradle, and it's a little bit like a GoPro, you can carry it anywhere. Um, it's got a built-in mic, which isn't too bad. The picture quality is pretty good. I think it goes to 1080. Um, I think it may shoot 4K. I don't know, I tend to set it up and just leave it as it is. But the handy thing, let me just show you, is this here so from here you can start recording and obviously stop recording take a picture uh, you can turn it on and off you can enable wi-fi uh, you can do all sorts of things from this and it's obviously a selfie stick as well so it does extend quite a long way so this is my go-to camera um the only real problem is you can plug in a usb-c microphone but it has to be the SJ Cams one. It can't just be anything, which creates a problem when I'm using my uh, Rode copy wireless microphones. Now I have made a cable up. Uh, let me find it. Um, do, 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 do. Right, I've made a. <laughs> I have made a a cable up, and it's basically it's from one of the microphones itself, and. I've soldered in a USB-C connector. Um, to be honest, it, it kind of works, but it's not great. Um, and it's not ideal, which is a bit of a shame because this camera works well for just about everything, apart from if you want to use a wireless mic, which is a bit of a pain in the butt because I'm, I'm finding the need to use those more and more, especially when I'm helping the wife out doing the garden video, stuff like that. Um, but again, it's, it's been a good camera. Um, it's not the best, but it does everything I need it to do. So that is my main go-to camera. Um, but I am trying other things now. Let me explain. So the camera I'm using at the moment is a DJI camera. So we'll pan to that one. So I'm back using the SJ Cams camera. Um, this one is the Osmo Plus, uh, DJI Osmo Plus. Now, the good things about this is, okay, it's got the built-in gimbal. Um, the SJ Cams is got a stabiliser, which works fine. Um, the annoyance about this is you have to attach a phone to it. And you have to register with uh, DJI and have all your Wi-Fi and everything switched on. Uh, it's a bit of a faff, it's a bit of an annoyance. Um, but you can control the camera from here itself. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, so autofocus, this is an annoyance I find. It's set to autofocus, but you have to kind of, when you first start filming, pinpoint what you're autofocusing on. It's it's a bit bizarre. Um, you've got zoom on there, um, I believe. Um, oh, there's all sorts of things on there. But although it's a good camera, it's quite heavy. And it's quite bulky. Now you can sit it in this cradle, which is fine. It bleeps a lot as well. Um, and you can adjust, uh, let me show you it this way. You can adjust the gimbal by using the, the keypad here. 
uh, side by side. Um, the quality is pretty good, I must say. Uh, again, it's got high quality definition. Uh, I don't know the full stats. So I'm not an expert on that by any means, but I think it can shoot in 4K. And it shows you on the screen pretty much everything, which is handy. It shows you your um, volume just there, uh, and it shows you well, everything up there to do with your exposure, what you're recording in, and everything else. Um, you can also record by using the, the mobile screen as well, or you can do it from the handle itself. Um, I've got all sorts of accessories with this. I've got this, which is supposed to be extra stabilisation. Uh, it doesn't work particularly well, I think. Um, I've got also filters for it and all sorts of things as well. But the great thing about it is, you can not only just plug a cat, uh, a start again, should I? <laughs> you can not only just plug a microphone in there, um, but I've got what they call a synchro system, which if I open it up uh, with one hand, go me, is uh, pretty much a copy of the road. Um, and from what I can tell, pretty much the same. So I've got these, and you've got the receiver there, and you've got two transmitters. The receiver simply plugs into there and it accepts it straight away. Now, one slight annoyance that you get in close with these, and why you need the external mic, is because the fan is really noisy. I thought there was something wrong with it at first, but apparently it's a common thing with them. Um, also, the batteries, um, I've got three batteries with it. These are the batteries. Um, if you leave them in storage, they seem to lose their charge. Uh, it's very bizarre, whereas the SJ cams one doesn't. Um, so that's my Osmo Plus. Again, great little camera. Uh, and when I'm doing some of the stuff with the wife in the garden, um, we can put the wireless mics on. Yeah, maybe. Uh, and I can use this one because holding it for yeah, you know, sort of half an hour or so isn't too bad. But it is quite bulky. So that's the Osmo Plus, which I have been using. Um, but I'm not 100% sold on. Let me show you the latest purchase. So this is my latest purchase. It's an Osmo Pocket. So it kind of does everything that the Osmo Plus does, but it fits in your pocket. Um, let me boot it up and show you. It is really quick when you boot it up. Finger on the button for a second and bang, there you go. Whoa, look, you can see me. Oh, let's get rid of that. Um, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I'm still learning. There you go. Um, so this has got a stabilised gimbal on it, it's got tracking, it's got follow, um, you, again you can do things manually with it just there, um, it, it's got everything that you would think you would need and the great thing is when you put the all-in-one on it, um, again you can plug a wireless microphone into it. Um, it's got an SD card just there. Uh, again, the Osmo Plus has got that as well, so you can record everything to an SD. Um, it's got a little stand on at the moment, just for, for me, um, but you can take that off. And the bottom bit, the all-in-one as they call it, does come off, and you can make it into a tiny little um, handheld camera. Let me show you. So there you go, you can make it that small. Um, it has got built-in microphones. It's got, I think, four in total, if I recall. It's got one at the front, just there, one at the side, um, one at the back there and one at that side as well so it's got a lot crammed into it I've got to say um, I haven't really started using it yet but what I thought this would be really handy for is when we go on holiday because you know the DJI the, the SJ cam sorry but uh, is okay but again you've got to sort of hold it on the selfie stick or hold it in your hand and it's not it's not ideal so again, the annoyance with this is you've got to register it, you've got to do anything. You've to, to get all the menus and to see them properly, you've got to yeah you know, again plug a phone in. But you can plug a phone in just there where I've got this job with at the moment. Uh, but when you've got the all-in-one on, you can connect wirelessly as well. Um, so you can connect a phone to it and you can change settings and do things on the fly. I've ordered the selfie stick for it as well, which is on the way. So I'm going to see how this pans out. But yeah, this is basically what I'm using. So if anybody asks now, well, what do you use for doing these videos? Well, now you know. 
Um, the great thing about this again is, let me put that down a second, I'm going to switch it off because I don't want to lay it on the gimbal. There we go. And that goes into a case as well, uh, which you probably know already. But again, you can plug a wireless mic into it, uh, as I said. Um, so that's got to stay on it most of the time, which is fine, not a problem. Um, and the quality does seem pretty good. So future videos, I'm going to give this little thing a try. Um, so let me know. Um, is the quality any better? You won't be able to comment <laughs> on this one, I know, because I haven't used it yet. But I will do some test videos, do some panoramic stuff. I mean, there's lots of settings on it, like time lapse and uh, follow mode and things like that. I'm not going to go into all those details because, to be frankly honest, I don't know much about it at the moment. It literally came yesterday and I'm learning, as you have to with all cameras. Anyway, I hope this hasn't been too much of a boring talking head type video for you. And uh, more content coming up soon. Um, I've got a service to do on the ZXR, so that'll be coming up soon. I really want to get some content put together on the BMs as well. So, yeah, we shall see. Um, and there might even be a holiday coming up. Mm, who knows? Right. Thanks for joining. Catch you later, Internet. Bye bye.